Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 2 Question 1. Marco who was diagnosed with brain tumor was scheduled for craniotomy in preventing the development of cerebral edema after surgery, the nurse should expect the use of A. Diuretics B. Antihypertensive C. Steroids D. Anticonvulsants <laughs> Answer, C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti-inflammatory action, which decreases the development of edema. Question 2. Halfway through the administration of blood, the female client complains of lumbar pain. After stopping the infusion nurse Hazel should A. Increase the flow of normal saline. B. Assess the pain further. C. Notify the blood bank. D. Obtain vital signs. Question 1. Marco who was diagnosed with brain tumor was scheduled for craniotomy. In preventing the development of cerebral edema after surgery, the nurse. Question 3. Nurse Maureen knows that the positive diagnosis for HIV infection is made based on which of the following? A. A history of high-risk sexual behaviors. B. Positive ELISA and Western blot tests. C. Identification of an associated opportunistic infection. D. Evidence of extreme weight loss and high fever. Question 2. Halfway through the administration of blood, the female client complains of lumbar pain. After stopping the infusion nurse Hazel should A. Increase Question 1. Marco who was diagnosed. Question 3. Nurse Maureen knows that the positive diagnosis for HIV infection is made based on which of the following? A. A history of high-risk sexual behaviors. B. Positive ELISA and Western blot tests. C. Identification of an associated opportunistic infection. D. Answer, C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti-inflammatory action, which decreases the development of edema. Answer, A. Elevation of the uremic waste products causes irritation of the nerves, resulting in flapping hand tremors. Question 6. A client is admitted to the hospital with benign prostatic hyperplasia. The nurse's most relevant assessment would be A. Flank pain radiating in the groin. B. Distension of the lower abdomen. C. Perineal edema. D. Urethral discharge. Question 3. Nurse Maureen knows that. Answer. C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti inflammatory action, which decreases the development of.
Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 2 Question 8. Nurse Hazel receives emergency laboratory results for a client with chest pain and immediately informs the physician. An increased myoglobin level suggests which of the following? A. Liver disease. B. Myocardial damage. C. Hypertension. D. Cancer. Answer. C. Glucocortic. Medical Surgical Nursing Exam Number 2 Question 8. Nurse Hazel receives emergency laboratory results for a client with chest pain and immediately informs the physician. An increased myoglobin level suggests which of the following? A. Liver disease. B. Answer. C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti-inflammatory action which decreases the development of edema. Question 2. Halfway through the administration of blood, the female client complains of lumbar pain. After stopping the infusion, Nurse Hazel should A. Increase the flow of normal saline. B. Assess the pain further. C. Notify the blood. Question 3. Nurse Maureen knows that. Answer C. Because of its widespread vasodilating effects, nitroglycerin often produces side effects such as headache, hypertension and dizziness. Question 12. The following are lipid abnormalities. Which of the following is a risk factor for the development of atherosclerosis and PVD? A. Higher levels of low-density lipid LDL cholesterol. B. Higher levels of high-density lipid HDL cholesterol. C. Low concentration triglycerides. D. Low levels of LDL cholesterol. Answer. A. An increase in LDL cholesterol concentration has been documented at risk factor for the development of atherosclerosis. LDL cholesterol is not broken down into the liver but is deposited into the wall of the blood vessels. Question 3. Nurse Maureen knows that the positive diagnosis for HIV infection is made based on which of the following? A. A history of high-risk sexual behaviours. B. Positive ELISA and Western blot tests. C. Identification of an associated opportunistic infection. D. A Answer. C. Because of its wide. Answer. D. There is a potential alteration in renal perfusion manifested by decreased urine output. The altered renal perfusion may be related to renal ateriembolism, prolonged hypotension, or prolonged aortic cross-clamping during the surgery.
Question 14. Nurse Josie should instruct the client to eat which of the following foods to obtain the best supply of vitamin B12? A. Dairy products. B. Vegetables. C. Grains. D. Broccoli. <laughs> Answer A. Good source of vitamin B12 are dairy products and meats. Question 15. Karen has been diagnosed with aplastic anemia. The nurse monitors the changes in which of the following physiologic functions? A. Bowel function. B. Peripheral sensation. C. Bleeding tendencies. D. Intake and output. Question 14. Nurse Josie should instruct the client to eat which of the following foods to obtain the best supply of vitamin B12? A. Dairy products. B. Vegetables. C. Answer A. Good source of vitamin. Question 15. Karen has been diagnosed with aplastic anemia. The nurse monitors the changes in which of the following physiologic functions? A. Bowel function. B. Peripheral sensation. C. Bleeding tendencies. <laughs> Question 14. Nurse Josie should... Answer. D. There is a potential alteration in renal perfusion manifested by decreased urine output. The altered renal perfusion may be related to renal ateriembolism prolonged hypotension or prolonged aortic cross clamping during the surgery Answer A. An increased in L. Question 12. The following are lipid abnormalities. Which of the following is a risk factor for the development of atherosclerosis and PVD? A. Question 20. Which of the following findings is the best indication that fluid replacement for the client with hypovolemic shock is adequate? A. Urine output greater than 30 milliliters per hour. B. Respiratory rate of 21 breaths minute. C. Diastolic blood pressure greater than 90 mmHg. D. Systolic blood pressure greater than 110 mmHg. <laughs> Question 13. 
Answer A. Urine output provides the most sensitive indication of the client's response to therapy for hypovolemic shock. Urine output should be consistently greater than 30 to 35 milliliters per hour. Answer A. An increase in LDL cholesterol concentration has been documented at risk factor for the development of atherosclerosis. LDL cholesterol is not broken down into the liver but is deposited into the wall of the blood vessels. Question 8. Nurse Hazel receives emergency laboratory results for a client with chest pain and immediately informs the physician. An increased myoglobin level suggests which of the following? A. Question 20. Which of the following findings is the best indication that fluid replacement for the client with hypovolemic shock is adequate? A. Urine output greater than 30 milliliters per hour. B. Respiratory rate of 21 breaths, minute. C. Diastolic blood pressure greater than 90 mmHg. D. Systolic blood pressure greater than 110 mmHg. Answer C. Steroids decrease the body's immune response, thus decreasing the production of antibodies that attack the acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Question 23. A female client is receiving formanitol. An assessment specific to safe administration of the said drug is A. Vital signs Q4H. B. Weighing daily. C. Urine output hourly. D. Level of consciousness Q4H. Answer D. Acute lymphocytic leukemia wall does not cause gastric distension. It does invade the central nervous system and clients experience headaches and vomiting from meningeal irritation. Question 24. Patricia, a 20-year-old college student with diabetes mellitus, requests additional information about the advantages of using a pen-like insulin delivery devices. The nurse explains that the advantages of these devices over syringes includes A. Accurate dose delivery. B. Shorter injection time. C. Lower cost with reusable insulin cartridges. D. Use of smaller gauge needle. Answer C. Steroids decree. Answer A. These devices are more accurate because they are easily to used and have improved adherence in insulin regimens by young people because the medication can be administered discreetly. Question 25. A male client's left tibia was fractured in an automobile accident, and a cast is applied to assess for damage to major blood vessels from the fracture tibia. The nurse in charge should monitor the client for a. Swelling of the left thigh. B. Increased skin temperature of the foot. C. Prolonged reperfusion of the toes after blanching. D. Increased blood pressure. Answer C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti inflammatory action which decreases the development of edema. Question 26. After a long leg cast is removed, the male client should A. Cleanse the leg by scrubbing with a brisk motion. B. Put leg through full range of motion twice daily. C. Report any discomfort or stiffness to the physician. 
D. Elevate the leg when sitting for long periods of time. Question 25. A male client's left tibia was fractured in an automobile accident and a... Answer C. Glucocortico. Answer A. These devices are more accurate because they are easily to used and have improved adherence in insulin regimens by young people because the medication can be administered discreetly. Question 28. Nurse Katrina would recognize that the demonstration of crutch walking with tripod gait was understood when the client places weight on their a. Palms of the hands and axillary regions. B. Palms of the hand. C. Axillary regions. D. Feet, which are set apart. Answer. C. Steroids decree. <laughs> Answer. C. Glucocorticoid steroids are used for the anti inflammatory action, which decreases the development of edema. Answer A. These devices are. Question 28. Nurse Katrina would recognize that the demonstration of crutch walking with tripod gait was understood when the client places weight on their. A. Palms of. Answer C. Steroids decrease the body's immune response, thus decreasing the production of antibodies that attack the acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Answer C. Alteration in sensation and circulation indicates damage to the spinal cord. If these occurs, notify physician immediately. Question 31. Marina with acute renal failure moves into the diuretic phase after once a week of therapy. During this phase, the client must be assessed for signs of developing. A. Hypovolemia. B. Renal failure. C. Metabolic acidosis. D. Hypokalemia. Question 28. Nurse Katrina. Answer. C. Steroids decrease the body's immune response, thus decreasing the production of antibodies that attack the acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Question 31. Marina with acute renal failure moves into the diuretic phase after once a week of therapy. During this phase the client must be assessed for signs of developing. A. Hypovolemia. B. 
Renal Question 28. Nurse Katrina would recognise that the demonstration of crutch walking with tripod gait was understood when the client places weight on their A. Palms of the hands and axillary regions B. Palms of the hand C. Axillary regions D. Feet, which are set apart Answer C. Steroids decree. Answer D. Acute lymphocytic leukemia wall does not cause gastric distension. It does invade the central nervous system, and clients experience headaches and vomiting from meningeal irritation. Answer A. It is crucial to monitor the pupil size and papillary response to indicate changes around the cranial nerves. Question 35. Nurse Linda is preparing a client with multiple sclerosis for discharge from the hospital to home. Which of the following instruction is most appropriate? A. Practice using the mechanical aids that you will need when future disabilities arise. B. Follow good health habits to change the course of the disease. C. Keep active, use stress reduction strategies, and avoid fatigue. D. You will need to accept the necessity for a quiet and inactive lifestyle. Answer D. Acute lymphocytic leukemia wall does not cause gastric distension. It does invade the central nervous system, and clients experience headaches and vomiting from meningeal irritation. Answer A. It is crucial to mo Answer D. Restlessness is an early indicator of hypoxia. The nurse should suspect hypoxia in an unconscious client who suddenly becomes restless. Question 37. A client is experiencing spinal shock. Nurse Minna should expect the function of the bladder to be which of the following? A. Normal. B. Atonic. C. Spastic. D. Uncontrolled. Answer. D. Acute lymphocyte. <laughs> Question 38. Which of the following stage the carcinogen is irreversible? A. Regressioning stage. B. Initiation stage. C. Regressioning stage. D. Promotioning stage. Answer. A. Regression stage has the change of tumor from the preneoplastic state or low degree of malignancy to a fast growing tumor that cannot be reversed. Answer. D. Acute lymphocytic leukemia wall does not cause gastric distension. It does invade the central nervous system, and clients experience headaches and vomiting from meningeal irritation.
Question 38. Which of the following stage the carcinogen is irreversible? A. Regressioning stage. B. Initiation. <laughs> Answer A. Regression stage. Answer B. The use of fragrant soap is very drying to skin, hence causing the pruritus. Question 26. After a long leg cast is removed, the male client should A. Cleanse the leg by scrubbing with a brisk motion. B. Put leg through full range of motion twice daily. C. Report any discomfort or stiffness to the physician. D. Answer A. Regression stage has the change of tumour from the preneoplastic state or low degree of malignancy to a fast-growing tumour that cannot be reversed. Answer B. The use of fragrance. Question 26. After a long leg cast is removed, the male client should A. Cleanse the leg by scrubbing with a brisk motion. Answer A. Regression stage has the change of tumour from the preneoplastic state or low degree of malignancy to a fast-growing tumour that cannot be reversed. Question 38. Which of the following stage the carcinogen is irreversible? A. Regressioning stage. B. Initiation stage. C. Regressioning stage. D. Promotioning stage. Answer D. Acute lymphocytic leukemia wall does not cause gastric distension. It does invade the central nervous system, and clients experience headaches and vomiting from meningeal irritation. Answer C. Steroid decree. Question 46. Nurse Faith should recognize that fluid shift in a client with burn injury results from increase in their A. Total volume of circulating whole blood. B. Total volume of intravascular plasma. C. Permeability of capillary walls. D. Permeability of kidney tubules. Question 28. Nurse Katrina. Answer C. In burn, the capillaries and small vessels dilate, and cell damage cause the release of a histamine like substance. 
the substance causes the capillary walls to become more permeable and significant quantities of fluid are lost. Question 47. An 83-year-old woman has several echemotic carriers on her right arm. The bruises are probably caused by A. Increased capillary fragility and permeability B. Increased blood supply to the skin C. Self-inflicted injury D. Elder abuse Question 46. Nurse Faith should recognize that fluid shift in a client with burn injury results from increase in their A. Total volume of circulating whole blood B. Total volume of intravascular plasma C. Permeability Answer A. These devices are more. Answer D. Restlessness is an early indicator of hypoxia. The nurse should suspect hypoxia in an unconscious client who suddenly becomes restless. Question 37. A client is experiencing spinal shock. Nurse Minna should expect the function of the bladder to be which of the following? A. Normal. B. A tonic. C. Spastic. D. Uncontrolled. Question 46. Nurse Faith should. Answer D. Restlessness is an Question 37. A client is experiencing spinal shock. Nurse Minna should expect the function of the bladder to be which of the... Answer. C. In burn, the capillaries and small vessels die. 